Welcome to Driver 38 Show. Uh, this week we're going to do another open tag uh, Muskrat Mafia put on by 865 Knives. Uh, if you don't know his channel, please go check it out. Real cool guy. He has uh, some uh, real nice moderns and real nice traditionals, both. And he's real entertaining. Guaranteed to have fun watching his videos. Okay, right here's my. Uh, Muskrat Mafia presentation. It is a uh, case Muskrat 2013 uh, limited edition, one of 3,000. Uh, smooth bone uh, moss green. I got this knife a couple months ago. Uh, new old stock, still in the box, brand new 2013. We'll look at it in just a second on the tailgate of my truck. Welcome friends. Let's get to looking at this knife here. Uh, just doing a little Bob Ross artwork here. Uh, Y'all know who this character right here is? Yeah, that's the king of the muskrat mafia. That's him. Uh, I ain't making fun of you, brother. I, I was just having a little fun there. Uh, he, look, he looks... It's got the look now. It's got the cool look. <laughs> okay, let's get to looking at this now. This is a case uh, Muskrat 2013 limited edition, one of 3,000 moss green smooth bone. Uh, this is the box that came in. Muskrat. Moss Green 2013. I bought this uh, just a few months ago. I bought it new, uh, new old stock. I bought it from this uh, caseknifeoutlet.com. Uh, it's new in the box from 2013. Okay, let's give a size comparison. This is a three and seven eighths inch closed knife. Uh, that is the same as the case uh, 47 Stockman, 3 and 7 eighths. You can see they, they're pretty much on the same frame. Uh, the Stockman's wider because it has three blades. Uh, the Muskrat's a little lighter because it don't have as much uh, metal in it. It only has two blades. Okay. And it's the size, and um, this particular muskrat has two springs, one spring for each blade. Okay. Uh, let's pull the main blade right here. It has a laser etch on this blade, uh, one of 3,000. Okay, let's talk about this blade shape right here. Um, when I, before I got into knives heavy, I used to think that the muskrat had uh, a trapper clip on each end, but it does not. Let's talk about that. This is a full-size trapper. As you can see, it, it is not the same blade. It's a different shape, different length. Okay. Let's try a uh, mini trapper. Pretty close to the shape, but not the same. Uh, you can tell by the nail nicks that it is a slightly different design. As far as length goes, it's, it's quite a bit longer than the mini trapper. Okay, let's go back to the 47 Stockman. Uh, the clip blade's a totally different design, but the length of the blade is the same. So, the muskrat is a unique, unusual knife. It has a clip blade entirely its own length and design. Okay. Let's check the other blade out. It does not have an edge on it. It's a clean blade. The blades are identical. And, uh... That is very unusual because uh, 
most two blade knives will have uh, one long blade, one short blade. Or if they happen to have two full size blades, one will be a, a sharp uh, pokey blade and the other one will be kind of a thick stock utility blade. But uh, this particular knife, the muskrat, has two identical uh, clip pokey blades on each end. Okay. Let's do a uh, let's do a close up on the uh, bone first. All right. It says moss green on the box in the description, but uh, it looks a lot like jade to me. It's very light and transparent, and there's also, if you can tell. It shows up in different lights, but there's like a tan streak that goes right down the middle on the back right here. It's kind of hard to see, but there are some tan notes in this. There's also a, a, a bone, bone character right there. I like character right there. There's some more bone character right there. And if you hold it kind of like this, there's the tan we was talking about right here. And you can hardly see it, but right on up the side of the shield, there's a little tan. Has the uh, bomb shield with case script in it. It's what, they, what the case calls a bomb shield. Okay, as the uh, the edge that we've talked about, and it has the year 2013 tang stamp, and the secondary blade has the USA muskrat stainless steel stamp. Uh, the muskrat pattern case does not designate pattern numbers for it. They just stamp it muskrat and leave it at that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the design and pattern. Uh, the case muskrats uh, were made before, a little before 1940. They were made with double clips as we talked about. And uh, what was the uh, general idea about that? Well, the idea about that was when you use this blade, got it dull, you can just pull out this blade, it's the same exact blade and it's sharp. So you dull the blade, you got another one just like it, ready to go. That was the concept of, of the muskrat. Okay, they also made uh, what they called a haul baker. It was the same as this, have it clipped. But this blade right here was a sheep foot, a full sheep foot. It would come all the way out to about right here and then bend down to the point. Really long sheep foot on the end. And they were made from 1965 to 1969. They were only made four years. And some of them, not all of them, had an etch on them that said uh, improved muskrat. Uh, if you see one of these at a knife show or, or something, uh, just know that you've seen a unicorn because they are very rare, very rare. And I happened to see one at a case event I went to. Uh, a man had it. I didn't get his name, but he lived in central Alabama. And uh, he had a haul baker. And... Uh, I got to look at it, I got to hold it, and it is a very unusual knife, a very rare, very rare sight. Okay. Uh, these knives right here, very collectible. Uh, the muskrat pattern, if you can find one or get your hands on one, uh, if you're into collecting knives, it'd be a good investment for you because these knives 
will increase in value as every year they'll increase in value because uh, case right now has cut downsized the number of patterns that they use in their handle families. So uh, they used to put out quite a bit and now you, they put out four or five, six patterns in a handle and the muskrats being left out of those. Uh, I haven't seen a new muskrat come out in quite a while, since COVID, I think. Uh, alrighty then, got great snout. It has no half stops. Opens great, closes great, brand new knife. Looks pretty wicked holding it like that, don't it? And you will cut yourself with this knife if you ain't careful. You sure will. All right. Thank y'all for watching my video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, close-ups and talking about knives, uh, subscribe to me and that'd be easier to find and uh, please leave a comment uh, I want to know what y'all think about uh, how I do it and uh, I want to know what y'all think about this here knife and uh, I want to hear from y'all I learn as much as you, from y'all as I do in my research so thank y'all and next week uh, we'll have another great knife